Hi there, welcome again to BSF Recovery Team. Well, we're still in the garage trying to get the record ready for Memorial Weekend. And if you remember, uh, we have some new uh, winch rope to try out on the record boom. But, like I said before, uh, before we install the winch rope, we got to do something about my pulley up here. Uh, we got a bunch of chips missing out of it, we got to replace it. I was originally going to replace it with this pulley right here. Um, but after doing a little checking, I found out that uh, this pulley isn't quite wide enough. Uh, it would work with 3 8 uh, cable, uh, but anything bigger like this rope uh, is not going to really work very well. So we uh, had to order a new one, proper one that goes in there. Uh, we just got our order in, so let's uh, open the box and see what we got. Oh, look at that. They sent us a little, uh, <laughs> a little flatbed. That's cool. All right. So, this looks like, uh, this will be our pulley here. There it is. There we go. Boy, that's an odd color to put on a red tow truck. We might have to do something about that. All right, let's see. This should be the right, oh, that looks beautiful. That'll work great for the world. We'll have no trouble with, uh, with that being uh, abusive to our rope. And it's got a bronze bushing in there. Cool. And since, uh, since this already has a loop on it, and uh, our hook is a swivel hook for the cable and it's fixed on there, uh, we decided to get a hook that will go on here also. Uh, since it's a rope, we don't necessarily need a swivel hook. Uh, the swivel hooks are nice on the cable uh, because the cable has kind of a memory to it, uh, but the ropes will twist with no problem, so we got one. It doesn't have a swivel on it, and uh, this should work for us here, hopefully. It's a little snug, but I think that'll work. I think we'll be able to get it in there. So, first thing we want to do is we want to get that bent pin out of that pulley. First, we gotta take some tension off the cable. Since we'll be pulling the cable all the way off anyway, we'll just uh, we'll just free spool it here. And see if we can get the bent pin out. It's held in on this side by a snap ring. Alright, we got our snap ring pliers. See if we can get this bent pin out. Okay. Hammer and a punch. Looks like it's coming out. Oh boy, I didn't know it was that bad. Here, let's take a look. This is why we need to replace this. If you notice, the center's all wore out, and we're missing a whole bunch of chunks on our flange here. That would uh, tear that rope to shreds if we were to use it that way. And this pin, oh, now I see why it was such a problem. I didn't know it was that bad. It's a good thing nothing broke on me. So we have a new pulley and uh, I have a replacement pin. This pin is three quarter. It does 
doesn't quite want to fit. A little polishing might take care of that. Let's take a look here. It'll fit nice in there. Alright, we got rid of that ugly blue color on this pulley, made it a little more appropriate for the wrecker. We polished up the pin, it'll now fit inside the bushing, nice and snug. And uh, so our next step is, is we got to peel the cable off of the wrecker here. If you notice, our uh, flanges are spread a little bit here, so uh, we're going to fix that at the same time. Uh, I'm going to take the head to work and stick it in our press and squeeze it down a little bit. Uh, we're also going to fix up our shield a little bit here. That's taken some severe abuse over the years. You're definitely going to put gloves on for handling this cable. Alright. The cable in this winch drum is held in by a little set screw. So we got to get that out. Now our head should just slide out. There we go. And you can see what I'm talking about. This side's bent out a little bit. This side's bent out a little bit. So we're going to uh, see. We're going to uh, squeeze that back down in the press uh, we have at work. There's one more thing before we install our new uh, Oxmark winch rope and that's uh, our little guide shield here we modified the end and uh, put a big hole in it here because we want to uh, install a little bushing to uh, protect the rope from getting chafed on the metal edges this little bushing here is actually an electrical box bushing but it's made of soft metal and it has a nice bevel in it so we'll install that in the end of our shield here to help guide the rope up over the pulley without uh, letting it get frayed there see we got a nice bushing there and our rope will slide right through that without getting caught and uh, hopefully that'll make the rope last longer. Now we can uh, assemble our pulley and our pulley head. Persuasion. There we go. Now we got a little flat ground. We got a little flat ground in our pin here. And that's what this does. Is this uh, keeps our pin from rotating. So. There we go. Now we finally get to put it on. And look at that. Oh, that slides through nice. 
one last little modification to install this Oxmart roll. Our cable on this drum originally went in this hole here and there was a set screw. Well, this Oxmart rope <coughs> won't work that way. So we're going to have to attach it similar to the cable on the front winch. We're just going to have to go through with a bolt. We chose an Allen head one here with a round head and uh, into the hole where our set screw was. Now remember, this isn't where all the stress is under load on the rope. It's our three to five wraps that give it the ability to pull as hard as it does. Okay, that should keep it started. All right, here we go. Smart is all spooled up on our drum now. Time for the hook. Now, I got this big monster hook here. Uh, when I ordered our uh, pulley sheave uh, from my tow truck supplier, I decided to get a hook for this uh, synthetic winch line. I knew that this was a half inch thick here, so I ordered a hook with a half inch uh, yoke here. To put it together and it ends up being a pretty big hook. Since then I found out that our uh, winch manufacturers are now making special hooks for the synthetic winch line but uh, my tow truck supplier hasn't caught up to that yet. They didn't have any listed. Well so we're going to use this one for now. Anyway the loop goes in there like that, pin goes in and then it gets held in by this little roll pin here. There. Now we're ready to go. And just in time too because our memorial event is coming up this weekend at Dresser, Wisconsin. We'll certainly be giving this uh, Oxmart uh, synthetic winch rope a test. You can find it on Amazon. And we're also going to test out one of Oxmart's uh, recovery straps. Uh, again, heading to the event, Memorial Weekend, Dresser, Wisconsin. I'm sure we'll put both of them to the test. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, stay safe, and maybe we'll see you out there in the woods. <laughs>